when you do hit that okay she's here you know what that was dope did that really just happen so vibey go on becky madre mia yo what's up glamour i'm becky g and you sang my song my songs played in like a different style or simply like instead of it being like a track but it's it's just like acoustic i love it it gives like the the song a completely different feel but yeah the guitar the guitar skills i see you the overall vibe just made me really happy her energy is also really happy she has a very contagious smile which i love a mí me gusta oh <laughs> Yes, hair. She likes my hair. Oh my god. Janisa, that was so dope. I loved the guitar vibes. Amazing. And that video and your hair in the wind. You better work it, girl. Oh my god. What? First of all, I'm crying. <laughs> Becky G said my name and saw my face singing her song. That is insane. And she likes my hair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm literally shaking. I'm just loved her music for so long and that cover in particular is so special to me. I mean, I just never thought that I would hear from her. It really means a lot um, because also with covers, you never know how the singers feel like if you do the song justice. That's what's really flattering that she likes it and points out the harmonies and the guitar skills. I worked really hard on that cover, so this means so much. Becky, I love you so much and your music. Thank you so much for your kind words and I'm glad that you love my hair. I love yours too <laughs> and you're the best. <laughs> Ooh, okay, gotta breathe. All right, cool. <laughs> with the candles and the little lights and stuff and then the guitar and then she came in with like all these like layered vocals and then all of those runs that's like a completely different genre I feel than what the song originally like the song is a reggaeton song it's like a full urban like reggaeton record that's what i listen to like on a on a daily basis when i'm at home and i'm hanging out by myself and i'm cooking it's totally usually like that kind of style of music so thank you for that that was awesome <laughs> okay <laughs> yes vibes Yes, soul. When you take it and you make it your own, like that to me is like true artistry at its finest. And wow, that was beautiful. Davina, increíble. I loved it. Oh my God, so cute. <laughs> I'm floored to be honest. Like, I didn't know she was going to be into it that much. That's amazing. Like the fact that she commented on like the artistry because that's what I go for is to like change it into a genre that people wouldn't expect. So I love that she like recognized that and like her reaction was everything. <laughs> that was awesome. To hear directly from her that I did the song justice is incredible because, you know, she was the one in the studio during the whole process and She's the artist on the song who's representing it and singing it in different countries. Thank you for liking my rendition of the song. I love the song. It's such a beautiful experience to be able to do that as artists and to like bounce off each other, feed off each other, to be able to create so much beauty with what we have, you know? And I'm so happy and grateful. <laughs> This 
this song, Sola, is in Spanish. So when I heard him singing in English, it took me like my brain had to kind of recalibrate because I was like, wait, what song is this? Nobody to let me, let me down. This is Sola in English. That is so creative. I love that. I love that because music is a universal language and everyone can speak it. Everyone can participate and everyone is welcome. And I love that about what I do. But like hearing a song that you created and then hearing it in a different like language, it's just like, that's it's just awesome. It took me by surprise. The energy of it kind of gave me this like R&B by. I felt like I was watching like a Usher music video. He was like in his fields and like at the piano, like doing his thing. Jeez. I also really appreciated all of his backgrounds. All those like stacked vocals. I'm such a freak for those things. I love it so much. Crazy. Coles, what up? First off, you're so dope. Second, thank you so much for bringing like a whole new vibe to a song that I personally love so, so much. Hey. <laughs> Go on, Becky. <laughs> that truly was like, that caught me off guard, man. She literally said how I felt when I was doing it with a whole like approach. I approached it like an R&B vibe. And it's funny she mentioned the backing vocals because that's like my thing to hear her saying that I recreated it but made it differently to her but still kept the essence of it. That's like amazing, man. So I'm, I'm, I'm super grateful. And like she said there, music is a, a universal language. Yeah, I totally agree. We do music to connect. And this that's amazing. Like, <laughs> the fact that she, she watched it, like that's crazy. Sexy guitar player. All right. Okay. That's what I'm trying to do in my live shows. I'm trying to bring that energy. That was so dope. That was dope. When a song is originally created, there's an intention behind it, a story behind it, an uh, overall like feel and style. When someone kind of reimagines that, it adds so many other different layers. Like my live shows, I'm always trying to find ways to bring those elements that aren't on the original songs. So like he kind of just did that. Like he totally just inspired me. Like I'm about to call up like my home band and be like, yo, what's up? We gotta put this song in the set. Let's do it. <laughs> The guitar itself was playing like a whole new melody, which is really nice. Going back to like bringing like these other little layers, it's like ear candy. That's what we hear in like soulful, blues type of jazzy types of, of, of music um, is, is those kind of moments where even the instruments themselves have this time to sing on their own a little bit and bring these other elements of melody to a song. And he did just that. Oh. playing that guitar man just keep jamming out and if you want to jam out to more of my music uh, I, I would be more than beyond happy to, <laughs> to listen to it because it's so good that was so good oh that was awesome man it's not really something that happens you know every day but i feel accomplished is the word i guess and slightly blessed you know how often is it in the average person's life where somebody super famous you know like comments on your your work you know, it's no different than her coming up to my house, chapping on my door and saying, do you know what, Chris, I've just seen your video, blah, 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 blah. You know, I'd still be sat there like absolutely gobsmacked, shaking, like, did this really just happen? You know, that's really, really cool. Thank you so much for looking at my video. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you liked it. Thanks for watching it. And if you come to Spain, I'll go to one of your shows. <laughs> Thank you so much. song is such a like pop dj emotional record and i love that when you hear a song like that stripped down with such a just like a simple 
heartfelt vocal that still holds like this, the same power, which is really nice to hear. I, I'm, a, I'm such a sucker for guitars, period. I guess any instrument, like if to sing and play at the same time is actually really hard. For me personally, like I grew up I taught myself how to play the guitar and it's still something that like I struggle with to this day Maybe it's because I don't practice often enough. It's for sure that by the way I know a lot of people who can sing and play guitar at the same time Anytime someone sings a song that has the lyrics that uh, carry a lot of weight like next to you it just how you emote that is really important you don't have to scream a song just because it's emotional you don't have to belt a song just because it's emotional sometimes the most intimate moments are the moments that are more quiet and more soft and then when you do hit that like that was like okay she's here you know like it, it gives you that like Roller coaster of emotions, I guess, that a song like that is, is really intended for. Yeah, no, that was really nice, Lasha. That was that was really, really, really great. Thank you for that. Oh, I should have been there right next to you. Lasha, muchísimas gracias por esta versión eh, acústico de mi canción Next to You. Oh, yeah. Me encantó que emocionalmente yo podía sentir todas las letras y eso es súper importante cuando cuando hicimos la canción eso es lo que yo quería y tú lo hiciste exactamente it was awesome bueno wow I wasn't expecting that I'm like shaking I, I, I'm... es increíble no que, que, que alguien de ese nivel no sé te, te dé una opinión le dé una opinión a algún artista emergente no a alguien que, que está empezando y es algo que, que de verdad bueno que emociona y que te hace seguir adelante no increíble no sé es, es alucinante no para nada pensaba que fuera a tener un, un video reaccionando ella o, o algo por el estilo así que no sabría bien bien qué, qué, qué decir <ríe> es, es increíble que, que es una gran inspiración y, y que me alegro mucho de que haya visto el vídeo y que le haya gustado y que y que haya dicho todas esas cosas tan tan bonitas y tan inspiradoras I loved just the overall energy. Like, es una canción que tiene tanto energía. Like, it, it has so much energy. Like, it's the kind of song that, like, when you hear it, like, you can't help but want to dance. In the music video, we we obviously we did a very like cool storyline type of music video. But for her to bring like all of those different elements, like the outfit, the cars, the motorcycle, it brought that same energy. It was really nice. Ayla y Marco, oh my god, me encantó, muchacha, muchacha, tanto energía que vos también, that was great to watch. Madre mía, muchas gracias, en la vida me, me hubiera imaginado yo ahí ver a Becky G hablando de mí diciendo mi nombre, <ríe> qué guay, muchas gracias, eh, de verdad pues siento eh, una sensación que, que no sabría ni, ni describir. Para mí, de verdad, Becky G es que es una de, de mis ídolas. Para mí Becky G lo es todo. Pues para mí la verdad es que es muy importante que Becky G diga que tengo una voz bonita, porque para mí es un ejemplo a seguir. Eh, por ejemplo, a mí me da como más energía para, para seguir en este mundillo. Este mundillo es, es complicado, ¿no? Entonces, pues ver que personas así tan conocidas y, y tan artistas que te digan eso, pues para mí es algo muy importante y que de verdad que muchísimas gracias de corazón. I am so jealous of her piano skills because, wow. That was mesmerizing. I was just watching her fingers just do the damn thing. That was 
crazy. That's such an interesting song for me because I was like so, so young when uh, that song was released. Hearing it again being, I guess, played with someone else's talent just takes you out of the song for a second. And instead of being the artist who sings the song, you just become like a fan of the song, which is really special. Like, you don't think you get the opportunity to experience that very often. Shower is a straight up pop record. Shower is a pop jam. I think what was really nice about hearing it with piano is it kind of, it gave it this like emotional layer because the, the melody of the song is actually very grand. It's very like uplifting, like you light me up inside like the 4th of July. Like you literally see it in your head and it's just, I guess in a sense kind of dramatic. It's kind of nice that the piano gave it that layer that it, it didn't have before. Miri, thank you so much for that rendition of Shower. That was soul feeding. It, it fed my soul. <laughs> As an artist, when you get to hear your own songs being enjoyed and played by other incredible artists, like there's no greater feeling. I feel like what I love the most about what I do is the connection. Going back to what I was saying about music being such a universal language that unites us all and that is meant for everyone to enjoy and participate in. It's just, it's just so cool. And shout out to everyone, even the ones that are not in this video that are doing covers, who are putting themselves out there. I really applaud you guys. Don't ever give up because the truth is, is like even for me, that's how like my life changed. I got discovered off of YouTube, putting covers of songs, you know, that I really loved by artists that I really admired. My life changed because of that. And don't get me wrong, like even after you get the, the opportunity, there's still a lot of hard work that follows up after it. But like if there's any example of like, it is possible, like I'm telling you myself, don't give up on yourself. Always believe in yourself and yeah, keep up the good work because what I just saw was pretty incredible. Thank you so much to my familia at Glamour and of course to all of the incredible artists who covered my songs. Until next time, besitos. Ciao!